the 2021 Giro d'Italia returns to its regular spot on the calendar, kicking off from Turin, northern Italy on May the 5th, following last year's coronavirus postponement and we're in for a thriller edition. This season, the Italian Grand Tour will host some of the biggest names in cycling, from Tour de France winners to former world champions, we're set for an unforgettable Corsa Rosa. Here is everything to look forward to in the 2021 Giro d'Italia. The 2021 Giro will be raced over 21 stages, covering 3,450 kilometers, which is just 50 kilometers shorter than last year's race, and 100 kilometers behind the 2019 edition. This year's race will focus on the northern and central regions of Italy, along with a brief excursion abroad into Slovenia, one of the most exciting cycling nations in the world thanks to the exploits of Primoz Roglic and Tadej Pogacar. The 2021 edition of the Giro d'Italia will be bookended by two time trials, totaling 38 kilometers of solo racing against the clock, as well as taking in some big mountains early in the race. For the fourth year in a row, the Giro will open with a short time trial stage, likely to upset a few overall contenders early in this race. This year's 9km TT around Turin is pan flat, but with some technical sections that will suit those more comfortable on their time trial machines. This could be another chance for Italian hero Filippo Ganna to wear the pink jersey once again. While the first uphill finish of this year's Giro comes on stage 4, the first real general classification stage of the race is likely to be stage 6. It's a huge climbing day, with 3,400 metres of elevation gain, taking the peloton over 150 kilometres from Grotte de Frassasse to Ascoli Peceno. The final climb is going to be tough, at 15 kilometres long with an average gradient of 6%, this could be the first time we see fireworks amongst GC contenders. Into week 2, stage 11 promises to be an unforgettable spectacle as the peloton race from Peruga to Montecino featuring four gravel sectors spread along the course before a short, sharp climb in the closing 10 kilometers. This one is going to be unmissable. Stage 14 will be the biggest day for the general classification battle in the second week, with a summit finish on the dreaded Monte Zoncalan, a 13 km 9% average gradient climb. Into the final week, stage 20 will be the last opportunity for the climbers to take time back on their GC rivals, with 4,800 metres of climbing, including the San Bernardino Pass, the Spaluga Pass, both of which are higher than 2,000 metres above sea level, and a finish on the Alp de Motta. Finally, the race will close out with 29 kilometres of individual time trial in Milan, to crown the winner of the 2021 Giro d'Italia. While the course is always important in a Grand Tour, the contenders always define the race, and this year's Giro has no shortage of big names. As we record, the start list is not yet confirmed, but we have a good idea of who some of the protagonists will be. In the sprint stages, we'll see Caleb Ewan begin his mission to win a stage in every Grand Tour in a single season, while Petter Sagan will also return to the race after his debut last year. This year, the winner of the 2019 Tour de France, Egan Bernal, will make his debut in the Italian Grand Tour, as he hopes to put his back problems behind him from last season. French hero Romain Bardet will also be making his debut in the Giro, as he starts his new career away from AG2R with Team DSM. British hopeful Simon Yates will be back in Italy after his heartbreaking near miss in 2018, this time with a Grand Tour victory under his belt, having won the Vuelta a España. Remco Evenpole is also scheduled to make his comeback from injury, while also making his highly anticipated first appearance in a Grand Tour, having dominated stage races in his first two seasons as a pro. Other notable contenders include Britain's Hugh Carphy, Mikel Lander, Thibaut Pino, and Pavel Sivakov. You can keep up with all the action from the Giro d'Italia in Cycling Weekly and online at cyclingweekly.com, and don't forget to let us know who you think will win this year's race in the comments section below.